a lot of women take care. I know a lot of women who just take care of men. You know, just take care of them outright. Yeah. You know, and so I'm just like, you're creating this person you're speaking about. Yeah. These women are creating this type of, of man. The truth is, is that if anything is really wrong with men, it has to be something wrong with women too. We go hand in hand. So and we have to yeah. check ourselves. What have we become? Hi everybody, welcome back to our channel. We're back this week. I have a little bit of technical difficulties, but we're back. Um, so we have a comment um, from Blue Diamond is her name. And she says, um, we did a video about, it was a shorter video about um, undomesticated women. Women who don't cook and clean. What would happen to the women that don't cook and clean? Anyways, so within that comment, Blue Diamond wrote a um, a comment. She said, why does everyone talk about women being lazy and not the men? Um, women work, cook, and clean, and men do nothing. Okay, so then, you know, I told her we had a video coming up about that. So um, so basically you're saying that men are lazy. I mean, that's what I'm getting from this. Men are, men are kind of lazy. I know probably in the context of what you're saying, you're you're probably not meaning all men, because certainly there's men out there who are strong men. I think in order like for us to talk about why like when you say men do nothing, um, I'm sure you're just generally speaking, I think it's hard to talk about the subject without talking about why that has happened, why the progression of a lot of men becoming more lazy or not as hard work and why that even happened. Right. And the, what kind of gets under women's skin, I think, sometimes when we talk about subjects like this is because it literally always goes back to women mm -hmm. in some way. Now, we know men have responsibility on their own for themselves and to be men and understand their role as men, you know. Um, but the truth is, is that women have babied men. Mm -hmm. A lot of women have babied men. And a lot of women, we talk about single care, talk about single motherhood all the time. And she does that for a reason. The reason why that gets brought up is because a lot of times these single mothers have raised men, boys, mm -hmm. trying to make them men. And what happens is they turn out just being really lazy mama's boy type. Mm -hmm. And so on a, when you say they do nothing, men that do nothing, a lot of them are raised around a lot of feminine energy, I think. Because I'm going to answer your question in a harsh way. Because this is the way we wanted it. Right, exactly. So this is, I said this on video so yeah. long ago, that you can't complain about men doing half the work. You yeah. know, we put that on ourselves. Right. We were the ones who wanted to go to work. We were at home cooking and cleaning and they were out working mm -hmm. and, and fighting the war of work. Mm -hmm. That was the, that was how the society thought it should be. Is this how it always worked? It was working. And then a few women... Gloria Steinem, a few women made, made women believe mm -hmm. that they, there, see, a lot of women were happy. Mm -hmm. We were talking about, like, not too long ago, we were talking about the, um, the women's suffrage movement in the 20s. So the flappers, and there was a movement of feminism going on then. Women decide, but women decided that raising their children was much more important mm -hmm. than trying to have a career. Right. What I had always thought, because, you know, we get taught history sometimes incomplete. And what I was always taught was that women wanted to vote and they had to fight men to get it. Right. What I learned was women didn't really want to vote. Very few women wanted to because they thought they'd have to sign up for the draft and they'd, they'd have to go to work. So that was interesting. Men gave us the right to, to vote. vote. Yeah. You know what I mean? Men also made our lives easier in the home. They, they, um, they um, created dishwashers, mm -hmm. garbage disposals, refrigerators, the things that made our lives easier as housewives, mm -hmm. when we were housewives. Okay? Then that wasn't enough. Then, uh, from what I hear, I was watching this thing on, um... I watched... Yeah. On, uh, on, um... There's this video about red, a red pill. Mm -hmm. It's a red pill video of this woman who's a red... She wasn't a red pill. She was actually a very liberal mm -hmm. um, feminist. And then she started to understand the, the, um, the challenges of men. And then she did a whole video and movie documentary mm -hmm. that she had a hard time getting at Sundance um, Film Festival right. because they don't want to talk about men in this well, way. Now they yeah. want to change the subject. They especially so, they don't want to hear women women talking, it. women right. backing men. Especially up a woman who used yeah. to be a hardcore liberal. Yeah. And so she, what happened to her is what happened to me. 
You know what I mean? I woke yeah, up and so. realized long ago that the feminist movement was a mistake. Yeah. Not because it, women had already been working. They're already mm-hmm. nurses. Mm-hmm. Women have been working since the 20s, 30s. Right. They've they always been nurses. They've always been secretaries. If you wanted to go to work, you went to work. That's just what it is. Mm-hmm. But we were the ones who let people like mm-hmm. Gloria Steinem say Same. that we were bored at home. Yeah. So then what do we do? We went to work. Mm-hmm. And now we have to still clean up. We right. still are making kids. Yeah. Nothing. Children still need their parents. Children still need the, the maternal instinct of mm-hmm. a mother. It's different. Men and women are very different when they raise children. So the house still needs to be clean. Mm-hmm. Men are not naturally domestic. It's not that they can't be. It's just they're not naturally doing it. A lot of men yeah. can cook, but they just don't want to do it yeah. every single day because mm-hmm. it's just not it's just not something they naturally go through bio, bio, you know, in their mm-hmm. biology. You know what I'm saying? It's not like we can't work. Mm-hmm. It's just not something we are more nurturers. So our natural instinct is to take care of the home. Mm-hmm. And children. So what happens? We go to work, but then we still feel that natural instinct to do everything at home. Mm-hmm. So then what we do, we get mad at them. Right, because, so, because we chose to do both. Because we chose to, to do, do both. both. And that's where it be, that's where the kind of the, the mess up comes there. It's because, it's because we chose to take on two, mm-hmm. honestly, in their perspectives, hard roles. Because being a, a homemaker and then being a person who works, like it goes to the job and gives a paycheck, those are two very hard jobs to do, mm-hmm. right? But so when you, st- which is why a lot of men, particularly like conservative men or traditional men at least, they they believe in bringing home the money mm-hmm. and the woman taking care of the home, children, what what have you, right? And the the reason is because that's just a natural way of being, mm-hmm. I think. And so because we decided that we we're gonna do all of it, mm-hmm. just all of it, right? Go to the workforce, go to the home, the kids, and doing this and that and the other. It was too much. Yeah. And we did a video about can women have it all? And I might respectfully know. No. I really feel. But do you want it Do you all? want it do all? You, it's it's hard. Hard. I mean, Matt Walsh said, um, being a wife is not a career, but it is work. Yeah. You don't get a paycheck. You know what I'm saying? It, right. You don't get a paycheck, but you're very valued. Mm-hmm. Because you're cre- what you're doing is raising the next generation yeah. of people. And what's happening is, what's happening, what's happened is that these past few generations mm-hmm. of women who have been mostly single mothers, mm-hmm. divorced women, who have done it, mm-hmm. tried to do it all, mm-hmm. have raised a bunch of lazy men. Yeah. Because when you don't have a man in the house mm-hmm. yeah. to help to show this man how to get up and go to work, men become mama's boys. And women tend to coddle their sons. Mm-hmm. Men, when there's a man in the house, men tend to push you out and get you going. But if there is no man in the house, then all you're getting is the coddling part. And then what do yeah. they do? They go out and try to find a right. woman just like their mother. A woman that's going to do it all. Cook and yeah. clean and go to work. And then you think, then you get mad and say, well, why, why aren't they doing anything? Well, we yeah. are telling them they don't even have to be the breadwinners anymore. Yeah. So what is it left for them to do? And to sleep around. Like, yeah. It's true. But to sleep around and make half the income. But there's a reason why we talk about, like, because in the beginning we said, why does everyone talk about women being lazy? In the video, that video was very a long time mm-hmm. ago. I will link that video above if you guys have not seen it. But um, we were talking about women be, being lazy because, uh, <laughs> quite honestly, Blue, women are... Women are lazy. Women, have, Sorry. women and I'm speaking generally, I, I, I hate that I have to say that, but you guys understand I'm not saying all women. Just like, I hope you're not saying all men, but if you're mm-hmm. talking about all men, you're wrong. That's not right to say. But... The truth is, like, even in that video, what we see, like, sometimes we work in a hotel, so we see a lot of laziness, like, a Shops lot of lazy women. women. There's women who just don't know how to cook anymore. There's women who don't know how to do... Kara talked to somebody the other day um, who, she has daughters. She's, you know, four, three daughters or whatever. Four. Four. Four daughters. And she doesn't, she has no clue how to do hair. It's just like, don't tell me yeah. that women aren't lazy. And, I, we, and when I say it, yeah. you don't get to go to work yeah. and then think that you don't have to clean your home. But women have become the reason why I think that we why we brought that up even is because women have honestly become very very lazy. Mm-hmm. It's all it's just it's almost like an epidemic of how bad it is. Mm-hmm. Women I I know women who don't even know how to like don't know how to like do a real cleaning. Danielle, this weekend know? let me tell you this is most women these days they call it cooking is is heating up food. Right. Pre- prepared food like yeah. frozen food french fries right things that are already because their excuse is 
processed food, food, right? Which is horrible <laughs> for kids. It's horrible, right. horrible for yourself. But um, you know, this week Danielle made spaghetti from scratch. From I scratch. mean, like she made the noodles, I made the pasta. She made the pasta. <laughs> she made the um, the meatballs. To, yeah, the she made sauce. The sauce. She made, how many women do you think are doing from that? Real now, toma- from real tomatoes. From real tomatoes. Women used to do that. <laughs> women used to when right. we had more time. Yeah. But now we, our excuse is we have to work. Mm-hmm. So it, it's, you know. Uh, and the reason why people are talking about women being lazy a lot these days is because it's true. And it is kind of like, a, it's, it's fascinating to see how big of a turn that took. Mm-hmm. Because the natural role of a woman is to want things to be neat, mm-hmm. clean, proper. Orderly. Orderly, proper. You know, balanced in some way. And, um, even like when we did that video, it was, it's because we kept seeing women, their appearance was lazy. Mm-hmm. Like it wasn't just cooking and cleaning and whatever. It's like their appearance was just lazy. Everything was just really lazy. And I'm just, you know, I don't know. I don't, I don't feel like, like when you say men do nothing, I guess I would have to you have to elaborate a little bit more on what you mean men men do nothing. But if you're if you're talking about the men don't cook or clean and do that stuff either, it's because like Kara was saying before, it's, done, it's not their it's natural. Nature, it's yeah, they don't naturally do that. So when we made that video, we were we were highlighting the fact that it is natural for women to do that. Not that you have to do it twenty four seven, but mm-hmm. most women do. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. But the fact that it's taken taken such a turn now, where women don't even have boil water. You know, yeah. like they don't even know how to do basic things. And I just think that needs to be called out because to me that's very odd. People's houses don't look good it anymore. It just says it's not like, good. There was a time when you couldn't go to a woman's house. No, you and, couldn't. And, uh, 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 someone's house and, and, and the house just looks just like nasty. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? Yeah. People's kids don't even look that good anymore. They just walk around half dressed mm-hmm. and hair not really combed, walk around with bonnets and attitudes. And it's like a you know, bad It's time. just a very yeah. bad generation of people. And I think... At, and, mm-hmm. and it's gotten worse. And the only thing that's really changed mm-hmm. were two things. You said that the um, internet, the internet. Um, the internet and feminism. Feminism. It, it just completely demolished society. If you, if you criticize it's... men, like I feel like if you criticize men on their not doing nothing thing, it, that is something that um, generally speaking needs to be called out by other men to men. You know what I mean? So, assuming mm-hmm. men don't do anything, you know, that's not, well, that no one's going to, men are not going to really. And that's not fair. It's not, yeah, because it's not. Because you're trying to say as women, again, yeah. here we go with that feminism stuff. You're trying to make, women try to make it seem as though we are the, we are better than them. In some way. <laughs> yeah. We're, we're not. not. We're really you know not. I, mean? I see a lot of 30 year old men who are walking around here in flip flops with no ambition at mm-hmm. all. They just, they, they don't have, they just said the suicide rate of men mm-hmm. has risen. Because they just don't have a place anymore, really. There, you know, back in the fifties, any time prior to, I mean, like now, honestly, you know. But back in the day, society wouldn't allow men to be. If if you're speaking about the men that you're seeing now that are kind of lazy and not ambitious, like Kara said, not really doing anything with their life, um, society wouldn't really back in that time allow men to be that way. So other men, no, when they would see yeah. a man be like that. They, that man is ostracized, which is why most men back in the 50s and 60s were always up on their game because they know that, you know, other men are going to be looking down at them like, why yeah. are you not taking care of your family? Why are you not, you know, working hard? Why are you not doing this? Even in other cultures, like, it really is kind of limited to a certain yeah. small amount of people because in other cultures, other countries, they're very much, um, it's a male-dominated, they have that whole traditional roll down. Other countries... I would say most of them, hands down, the patriarchy situation is key for them, yeah. right? So they don't allow, mm-hmm. you know, men to become lazy or men that they don't allow men who don't, like you said, do nothing. Mm-hmm. Other men wouldn't allow that. And then the women in those societies, other mm-hmm. societies, they don't in other countries, those women don't even look at those men like that. They don't even look at men who don't do anything. Mm-hmm. Because it doesn't serve them in any any way, shape, or form. It's only here in America where we allow men to, you know, where we're just okay with men being the way they are. But then we get mad. Like a lot of women get really upset when they see men who are lazy or not ambitious or not taking care of their families and, you know, just not doing a whole lot with their life. Um, We get upset at that. We don't like seeing that. I don't Mm -hmm. like seeing that. I see strong men. You know, I'm I'm right. brave. I'm I'm happy to say I know a lot of strong men. So, 
You know, I mean, like I am, but I do know some lazy ones too, and I know what you're saying. But society is really—I really, yeah, don't like that. Yeah, you know? Society is really forcing American men into submission. They are like, because when 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 men were Matt Walsh said it right. He said he said marriage gives women security, it gives men responsibility. Mm -hmm. He's like responsibility men need. Back in the back before the the, the late sixties, there was really a single house income mm -hmm. but the ambition but but having being a man and having to to hold to take care of a lot of people yeah. gave you you know it gave you um esteem yeah because you could do it but it also gave you ambition mm -hmm. because they had something to work towards it was also like but a now, sense of urgency since women yeah. work men don't feel they have to work as hard anymore yeah. but then what do you do with that natural hunger yeah they sleep around they have to find their manhood somewhere yeah you know what I mean? They sleep around. They play video games. They do something that's mm -hmm. that's really not feeding them, but they have to do something with your with your day. Yeah. But sometimes women ask this question in a really harsh way, mm -hmm. and I'm like, yeah, but why? But see, you you can't ask that question and then not look at why you're seeing the progression of lazy men. Yeah. You can't. You know why? Because with it's always going to come back to. Society mm -hmm. and in the way that we, as women, what we have, uh, we said we want we've to. allowed, we've kind of like given free range mm -hmm. for you know, take a lot of women take care. I know a lot of women who just take care of men, you know, just take care of them outright, yeah, you know. And so, I'm just like, that you're creating this person you're speaking about, yeah, these women are creating this type of, of man, you know. And like I said, there's a lot of uh, masculine, um, traditional type of men that will not associate with men who are not yeah. like them in some way in that way as being mm -hmm. hardworking. It's because women have been so mm -hmm. <laughs> lenient and accepting of the laziness is the reason why it's progressed. See a lot of men become they, more gossipy. Yeah. They They're are. They're becoming women. They're over doing TikTok videos where they let women mm -hmm. do their hair like Danielle. They're dancing. Hair looks like right now. You know what I mean? They're, they're, dancing. they're doing makeup videos yeah. on their husband. Look what I can do with my husband. You know what I mean? We're he making, we're me. making <laughs> fools what? of men. Right. We're trying to bring their masculinity down mm -hmm. so that we can rise up somehow. Yeah. And we're confused on why a lot of men are falling short mm -hmm. of, you know, masculinity. And that that's why. It's, but know, it's going to take... But honestly, it is going to take women to expect more for themselves really honestly and then it's going to take men and there are men out here who are doing this by the way who are really teaching younger yeah. men how to be men you know what i mean if you guys watch elliot hulse these, these mm -hmm. type of men are trying to lay down the groundwork mm -hmm. for younger men so they won't turn into what you're describing yeah because even elliot has elliot talked even said he's, he's talked, talked about that he's like, like hate my dad Mm -hmm. he had a father yeah. you know what I mean his father he, the only reason yeah. to say that is because when he was younger his father was very tough on him right but he made him into a man you know what I mean successful a, a one a successful one and, and if yeah. everybody had a dad like that then, then most men would not believe me mm -hmm. feminism wouldn't have gone as far yeah if men didn't really yeah. allow this because you know like if you go to other um, countries like right they're feminists in every country yeah they're like in in uh in the Muslim countries mm -hmm. and they're they're not having this no they're like that's what I'm saying. In other countries, you're like you're not gonna break up families. Like, don't you this? think that though? Other women, even women I personally know from other countries, they're they're not, they don't, they understand the role. Mm -hmm. You know, y'all, we talk about the role a lot because the roles are really important in in becoming the, I don't say a, a, the proper woman, the proper man. Like mm -hmm. it, it's it's very vital in a man not being um, lazy and unambitious mm -hmm. and all that. And it's really vital with women to maintain the role for her not to be, you know, unkept. And yeah. you know what I mean? Like you, there's, there's roles that have to be there and they're not there anymore. They're, they're gone. Yeah. So I, I agree to you to the extent of like when you said, I do agree to you to the extent of um, men do nothing, but not, I don't agree. If you're saying all men, I don't agree with that whatsoever. Mm -hmm. I actually know a lot of really strong, hardworking men who take care of their families and um, yeah. want the woman to hold it down right. at home. You know what I mean? Like I like that traditional, that traditional man is, I'm all about mm -hmm. that. So I know a lot of men that are like that. So I can not in good conscience work, say that. He understands his primary, yeah, so, his, right. his bill. He's the, you know, right. Cause I'm okay with work. Right. It's just that. You know, I, I still, I want everybody to understand the roles. So I do get that point that you're making when you say that in the sense of it is changing, society is changing where you're probably seeing more men become this, but it still doesn't take away the 
conversation mm -hmm. of why we're did that happen? Be, we're you supposed know? to be helping build them up. That's what the you understand, and and in turn we yeah. get we get that as well. You know what I mean? The yeah. problem is, is that we're mad at the very creation that we made. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? You you can't say men men do nothing. Mm -hmm. Well, we're not telling them to. We're actually telling them to sit down. Yeah. And do that's what literally and they get mad them. at them when they become lazy and mm -hmm. and you know ineffective and and there's nothing we can really do with them you know what i mean and so we play a large role women play a very large role in the in, in fixing this right. because if if we maintain our role ourselves and do our our thing then and and um not start trying to do their things mm -hmm. too then they will effortlessly kind of just be a man mm -hmm. if you don't accept it <laughs> then, well, you know what I mean? Like nature just, can, yeah. it will never really be destroyed. And yeah. if you try to destroy, destroy it, it, it yeah. will ricochet and right. do something bad yeah. to society. And right. that's what's happening. We're trying to change, change nature. Yeah. And when you mess with Mother Nature, that you never get a well. bad society. Yeah. And this is where we are. We are in, uh, you know, we were watching the metaverse thing. Mm -hmm. And both of the, com like the little commercials on YouTube with it, they, they have... It's men sitting there cooking and <laughs> taking cooking, care of the kids, take, taking care of the kids, and the women have yeah. those goggles on, those metaverse goggles, yeah. and they're just—they look like trash. They're overweight. Mm -hmm. They don't look good, and that—that's—it's not. This an is an American family. Now. That's not an accident. That's by design. Right. That's by design because they want men to look like little weaklings, mm -hmm. and they want men to have. They want women to agree with the conversation that you're having here. They want that to be fact. And mm -hmm. I'm telling you that it's not fact that all men do nothing. Right. I don't, that's not a fact. It's just that what they're pushing right now is for men to be in more of a feminized role right. when it comes to, you know, um, mm -hmm. you know, home and taking care of each other and all this kind of stuff. So it's, it, and I just think that at this point, we're, we've gone so far off the rails mm -hmm. is that women don't even see the the role they played in this problem. Right. And I, I do believe, Blue, that we played a huge role in what you're seeing right now. Because some men are just not being challenged. Yeah. And, you know, that that's going to be something they're going to have to figure out. You yeah. can't make, like, you know, I, I, I have no formula for that. Okay. Mm -hmm. I'm not a man. I don't know. The, there's men that understand how to fix that situation with them. But they're... You know, if if you're noticing though the progression of it, I do feel like it's you know it's a combination mm -hmm. here. Um, he's a grown man, so a grown man needs to know how to be a man. You know, what I mean, and man up. Mm -hmm. You know, essentially just man up and do do what you gotta do to you know improve your life or whatever. I just I just find it very problematic when I hear women say. Remember we did that video where that woman mm -hmm. said to us um, that we're she feels that we're too hard on women, mm -hmm. on black women specifically. And we were like, no, we're, we're, we're not. We're just calling something out mm -hmm. that we're seeing that we, that I think that a lot of women complain about yeah. that they complain about things that we actually started. So when you're seeing this, the reason why they're all these women and people are talking about women like this is because it's true. I know it's not fun to hear that, by the way. Like, I know it's not fun to hear mm -hmm. that women are lazy, don't know how to cook anymore, you know. It, I don't like saying that, but it is the truth. Well, that's I mean, because like, I think the narrative the beyond our platform yeah. and other, like, platforms is that women are thriving. Thriving, yeah. And so when you're watching mainstream um, yeah. television and um, all they talk, or even YouTube, it, and all they ever talk about is progression of women all day. Everything we do is right. We never do anything wrong. You know, it doesn't matter, like... Mm -hmm. It doesn't matter if you weigh 300 pounds. Mm -hmm. It doesn't matter if you um, don't really watch your kids. Yeah. As long as you uh, become successful at school, cool, yeah. like if you go to college and you graduate or you <laughs> get a job, then that's just like, mm -hmm. we, we get these like crowns mm -hmm. for doing like the mediocre, you know, the, the smallest of things. Everything we do is just like, it gets highlighted as something grandiose mm -hmm. when it really isn't. You know what I mean? Everything we do. It doesn't matter. Like, And then everything men, when men do, if they try to do anything, they get treated like a patriarchal oppressor that's come in and and, and, and trying to mess up our shine. I think that, yeah. And, and then I, when women, I'm sorry, but like, then when women like us or any woman or any man says, no, actually women are yeah. not as great as they used to be. They're just kind of uh, bad imitations of men. Mm -hmm. 
You know what I mean? At least they, then women are shocked yeah. that anybody could notice that they um, don't look that good. They don't um, treat people that well. They're not nice. Yeah. You know what I mean? You just think it, it takes sometimes it takes someone who looks like you to tell you. Bringing up uncomfortable conversations about women mm -hmm. may not be flattering to the ears, but <laughs> I feel that if we sit around here all day and start talking about fix your crown, queen, you know, um, keep your head up, queen, black girl magic, you know, all these things. We, if we only talk about these kind of grandiose terms, words, hashtags all the time and not talk about real mm -hmm. problems going on with women then we're not helping anything. We're just talking about, we're only complimenting. Right. If, you're only, if women are only getting all these compliments, when we clearly see mm -hmm. that women are struggling in some areas right now. Clearly can see women are struggling. And if we only sit here and talk about only the compliments about women all the time, then that to me is not helping society at all. It's just why we bring up things that maybe a lot of women don't want to hear, but maybe need to hear. There are times in my own personal life when I didn't have it together. And I, you know, you hear things from women and you get it together. Right. You know what I mean? Like I got it together. And I think that it's just not, it's not, it, it, it's important to talk about subjects where it's not always flattering is my point. Mm -hmm. You know, it's just like the girl we were talking about earlier that has the four girl daughters and she doesn't mm -hmm. comb her hair all day long. People are calling her queen. And, all day long. And she's always, yeah. you know, it is hard to be she's a single mom. mom. First of all, she's not a single mom. She has a man. Yeah. Job done. Well, <laughs> you know what I mean? He's not right. the greatest, but he's there. Yeah. You know what I mean? And he has seven children. You know what I'm saying? So, what I'm, but my, my point in saying this is that someone is, people are all day calling this woman a queen. She doesn't mm -hmm. comb her daughter's hair. And people are inflating her and making her stay that way. Mm -hmm. Because they're making her think that she's okay. Yeah. That it's because she has so many kids yeah. that we need to feel sorry. No, I don't feel sorry for you. Because you laid down and had five, what looks like five or six children. And, then, yeah. and you, yourself, look like a mess. Your kids look like a mess. And people are, are telling you that everything is okay. Why am I calling you a queen? You know why? Because the women who are telling that to her are also single mothers. Right. And so, also yeah. walking around with bonnets on their heads. So we got and a stuff, bunch you know of I mean? people complimenting and patting each other right. on the back. And, oh, you're such a great... No. The truth is, is that if anything is really wrong with men, it has to be something wrong with women, too. We go <laughs> hand in hand. Yeah. So if there's something's wrong there, yeah. it's because we've turned them probably into something. You know, and we have mm -hmm. to check ourselves. What have we become? Oh, yeah. Their nature is to go out there and, do, and, and to be, be something. Yeah. And our nature is to follow that. Right. But when we start flipping it around and trying to show them up, yeah. then what do you think was going to happen? They're going to become lazy and effective, mm -hmm. and, and we're not even going to really be attracted to them mm -hmm. anymore. We have a majority. Mm -hmm. We have a, um, a pretty big majority of men that watch us, so I'm kind of curious to know mm -hmm. what you guys think about that. You know, do you still think women are lazy? Do you think men are lazy? I don't know. You know, I don't, I don't know what you guys think. So. And you know, if you do, like, I just want to say, mm -hmm. if you do watch conservative men speak, yeah, and, and, and I don't care what race they are. Yeah. When you hear them speak, they say all the time, they go, they'll, so when we talk about, you say that we talk about, or that women are always on the chopping yeah. block. But a lot of those men will, will blame, um, sometimes they blame feminism on men because they go, we allowed this to happen. Yes. And we yeah. should have we, we should have never had allowed this to happen. We should have never let, you know, just allow women mm -hmm. to just take over the way that we did. We But we did do that. And you're just like, and so if you, so they, they take responsibility, mm -hmm. they take some responsibility. And so if they're going to do that, mm -hmm. then I, for sure, and then take responsibility for my own gender. Yes. Because I understand the, the manipulation mm -hmm. that women can also put on men. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? You don't like how they, you know, they, they can't be all things to us all the time. Yeah. Especially if we don't give them any space to be anything. Yeah, you cannot. And then you, criticize yeah. them when, when you're not getting what you want because you're kind of acting like them. You can't change the rules in the middle of the game. You just can't all of a sudden just change it all around. Mm-hmm. You're gonna lose. Yeah, tell us what you guys think. Leave a comment below. Don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel if you haven't yet.